Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create school building. Let's get started. So to start, let's open a new architecture template. And let's go to South Elevation. And here, we're going to set up our levels. So we're going to change this name to ground floor. This will be our second floor. And then we're going to maintain the 4,000. And then we're going to click this. And then we're going to copy or CO. We're going to click multiple. And this one, we're going to add at the top. So this will be 2,000. And then the next one will be 7,800. So that will be 1,800. And then this one is another 1,800. We're going to add more here. So this is actually, we're just going to move this 200 more. So that will be 9800. And then we're going to change the names here. So this level 3 will be TS track. The level 4 will be top. And then level 5 will be T.O. Gym. So now that we're finished here, basically ground floor, second floor, second floor is 4,000 from the ground floor, 2 2000 for the track, 1800 for the track to the top, and then another 1800 or sorry, 2000 for TO gym, top of gym. So after we finish um, the levels, let's go back to the ground floor. But as you can see, it's not appearing the other uh, levels that we created. So what you have to do is click on view, plan view, floor plan, and then just select all of this. So you could hold on control button and select all of this. And then press OK. And as you can see, it appears all over here. Now, let's go to ground. And then in the ground, and also, if you notice, um, this is not um, in sequence. So you better uh, remember the names that we added here. So it should be ground floor, second floor. Next should be uh, TS track, top, and then TO gym. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to add in our grid lines. So just come back to architecture and then click on grid or GR keyboard shortcut. So click this one and then now we're going to add in our first vertical. So this one, let's change this one to letters. 
for now. So we're going to escape and then click and then put in A. So after that, let me click this again and then you can type in CO or click this icon. We're going to click this back and then we're going to move it on the right side. This will be 6550. So that will be our B. Move it again on the right side. 6550. Right side again. 9700. This will be 12,000. Next will be 11,800. Next will be 8,700. 12,500. Eleven four fifty, and then lastly twenty five forty two. So we added our grid lines here. What we could do is we could move this. So this is the elevation icon so now you could just select everything like this and then you could just move it and then we could move this one as well we want it in the middle of this and this will be fine and this one we might move this one around here so i'm just moving it and estimating it right here so the next thing we're going to do is we could create our horizontal. So first thing first is go to architecture and then click grid line again or GR. We're going to place our grid right here. We want to zoom it in and then click on the bubble and we're going to change it to numbers now. So number one. And then we could just move this one down like so, so that we have space to add in our dimension at the top. So maybe more something like here. Guess we could always uh, pull this one down like that. So now, click on the grid line again, the horizontal that we just created, and then click on the copy command under modify, or you could type in CO, and then our multiple is already checked, so we're good. We just need to grab this, so click that one, and then type in 20. Or sorry, this will be 1200. So this one I made a mistake. I'm going to pull this one. So I'm going to, there's a temporary dimension. I just put 1200, I believe. So I could use this temporary dimension so that I could click the exact 12,000. So let me click this back and then type in CO and grab it again. So the next one will be 8,500. Next will be 7,000.
and then we have 12,200 and then again 7,900 and then 11,300 press escape and then we can move this one around here and then click on this so that we could move this one below what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this one right here in the middle so in the middle of four and five and also this one so I'm just estimating it in the middle of this and then I'm gonna add this one I'm gonna extend this one a little bit and also this one so for everybody concerned um, I'm just gonna add the dimensions so that you guys can follow along so I'm adding dimensions like this and then an overall dimension I will also add dimensions for the horizontal and overall so before we start adding walls you can actually um, add the grid bubble on the other side as well so by clicking on the grid line you just need to check this box I'm gonna do this because this is a big project that we have and we need all the information from all the grid lines so let me just do this and then do it on the horizontal as well so now we have it from left to right and and from above and below so now let's click on architecture click on wall and then we're going to use this basic generic 200 millimeter wall edit this type duplicate and this will be our exterior wall number one press ok edit this type we're going to change the thickness to 300 and for the materials we're gonna use brick for now so we're gonna use brick common for now and then press ok and then ok so we're gonna start this one at A7 going to A5 so make sure you connect this one to second floor wall center line chain so this one's good we just need to change this up to second floor if we don't it will be up to 8000 and we don't need that so now a7 so this is a7 up to a5 going up to G and then from G actually it's not 
going over G, it's going to be up to E. So I'm going to click it E here. Press escape. And actually, we're going to extend this one up to F. So let's stop in F. So F5. After that, click wall again. And then this wall will be going above. So this will be from F5. So the last part. going to F3 so let's go over here and then we're gonna go left now up to C3 so let's look for C. This will be C and then 3. And then going up again, this will be up to 1. We're going right side now. This will be up to I1. And then we're going to go down. And this one will be up to J7. So, the, so I7, sorry. So I7 right here. And then just go back to A7. Press escape. And we have our perimeter wall. So we're going to stop here for now. And as you can see, it's a big project. Um, we're going to go further on the next video uh, by adding interior walls. And if we have time, we could add in the doors. So thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.